the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There be no wars. So today I am basically going to um, dig all of the tulips that I have growing here in my raised beds and I'm going to move it here where I have another container so they can finish blooming. So last year I had a couple of bags uh, left over with tulip bulbs and I found out that I still have those bulbs way late in the season. It was about December, the end of December and I didn't want them uh, to go to waste or anything so I decided that I was going to put them in the ground but I also didn't want to have to dig a bunch of holes again. So what I did is that I just just grab a, a little shovel and I make like a little way here in my raised beds and I put them here. If you are going outside right now to your local stores, you may see that you have a choice, a wide variety of choices for buying tulips in little containers. Basically, I am trying to do the same thing here. I have them going already and then I'm going to just uh, dig them out gently and carefully so that hopefully they can finish blooming in my container. Uh, I have regular potting mix in my container, nothing fancy. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I think that I'm going to need to get more containers ready with potted mix because I have way more tulips coming through than I have uh, containers ready. So uh, for those of you wondering why, why don't I just leave the tulips there and bloom there? Well, my raised beds uh, were not taken care of last year in the fall for uh, as far as compost and nutrients added. So I am going to do that here in the next couple of weeks um, when I can get my hands in some compost. So when I do that, I'm going to be uh, mixing the compost with the existing top layers of the raised beds. So I don't want to be messing up with any tulips there or anything growing there. This was my original plan last year when I put the bolts in here. I just wanted them to um, go through the cold period and get started so that I could move them to containers when I was ready for them. Uh, I am pretty comfortable that uh, the tulips will work. Maybe a couple of them were disturbed too much, uh, but I'm confident that I'll get a few blooms. Uh, and who knows, this may be something that I do every year if I have the beds that are available. And some of my friends on Instagram are doing this um, elephant, giant elephant ear challenge. I don't know if it's about how big you can get them to get to grow or I honestly don't know if the challenge is can you grow them or how big can you get them to get I don't know or how big you can get them uh, but anyway I'm playing along so I have never had elephant ears before and um, this is not the size obviously that I'm going to be keeping them in finally this is just the size that I'm going to use for get them going inside. These are tropical, so they will not make it out here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to put this, I'm going to cover them this much with soil. So you should be able to see a flat side and a pointy or sort of pointy size, sort of like tulips. You definitely don't wanna put them this way. I mean, you'll be able to see the flat side versus the one that has the layers coming. And this is where the plant is going to come through. And like I said, these are, these guys going to go inside with me. 
you don't need to top it off as much with soil, just enough so that it's covering the top. And this guy is going to go inside where my seedlings are, so it's nice and warm. And then when it's time, about the time that I put my tomatoes outside, that's when this guy is going to go into a bigger container. So hopefully by then I'll have a, a little bit of growth going. And I don't know, hopefully I can find a good spot. Right now I have no idea where I'm going to put it. But that happens about 99% of the time with me. I buy plants and I really don't know where I'm going to put them. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Until the next video, you guys.